Hey guys, we made it to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It only took us about 30 minutes. We're here, it took us about 30 minutes to get here from Spokane and it is so peaceful with mountain fresh air and we're about to take a brunch cruise on the Coeur d'Alene cruises. Join us. Mike, how would you describe the vibe here in Coeur d'Alene so far? Quiet, very peaceful, very relaxing, very restful. It's really nice, it's a great place to vacation. So this is the little downtown here near Independence Point in Coeur d'Alene. And as you can see, it's very walkable and it centers around Front Street and Sherman. And there's a lot of art here. So this right here is our cruise. They have daily cruises. We're doing the brunch cruise, which leaves at 11 a.m. But they also have dinner cruises. Perfect for the sunset. It's very chill here on a Sunday morning. Not a lot of stores are open yet, but we shall see what the city is like later on. Water is ice cold here. We check out the flavorful buffet on board the Coeur d'Alene cruise brought to you by the award-winning Coeur d'Alene Resort culinary team. This 90-minute cruise is an exciting way to view the lake. The cruise is the perfect way to enjoy the summer here in Coeur d'Alene and they're offered from May through September. Mike, how's the cruise so far? Amazing, we're on the water. Woo! Having brunch on the deck here beautiful scenery as we're passing by and enjoying Sunday brunch. During the ride, we get an up-close view at some of the million dollar lake homes, and now time to eat. So here we got the roast beef with the au jus, the salad, and the butter rolls with orange icing. <laughs> Trying this roast beef. Trying the orange bread. So flaky. Oh, it's like an orange croissant. It's good. Found my new house. Along the ride, we come across the Coeur d'Alene Resort Golf Course, which has the world-famous floating green as the 14th hole. So we just finished the cruise and it was so much fun. The food was surprisingly really good. We finished it off with chocolate covered strawberries and now we're gonna go take a hike on Tubbs hike over there, the three mile Tubbs loop. Hill. Tubbs Hill, let's go. Look at how green this grass is. We're seeing that this city has a little bit of a Victoria BC vibe to it.
popular things to do here in Coeur d'Alene is Tubbs Hill Trail. I mean, you can literally do a little day hike here and it's only three miles round trip. Woo. Guys, we have reached the summit here on this trail. It is so beautiful. We're standing on this rock and you get 360 degree views of mountains and Lake Coeur d'Alene. trying to capture the views here and it is just incredible. It's very hard to capture on film. You can't really capture how blue this water is and just how expansive this whole region is. I'm using this tree as a tripod. We take the scenic byway, which runs along the perimeter of the lake in order to get to our next hike, the Mineral Ridge Trail, which offers one of the most beautiful viewpoints. We're gonna go hike the Mineral Ridge Scenic Trail. Here's a rock tunnel found along the mining trail. I wonder how deep it goes. Hello! No, not very deep. How are you liking the trail so far? So cool. Been Fresh. Okay. We're about ready to reach the top. From the top of the trail, we're able to see, looking west, some of the most beautiful fjord-like views. This trail rises 700 feet in elevation and offers one of the most lofty overlooks of the lake. The air is alpine fresh and the views are crystal clear. This is incredible. Incredible. From the top here, you can see all of the houses down below. Looks like a little storybook land and the water is just glistening. If you like these views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Be sure to stay tuned for more travel videos.